F so. that. Let's have a bit of local. Oh. Durston Fletcher. Dick Gherkin. From Bristol with love. From Bristol with love. Dot WordPress. Dot com. I'll stitch you up a right kipper. <laughs> so I suppose as the uh, quasi official comedy partner to the Bristol Mayor race, uh, we should give you an update on what's happened with that. Um, just more mental madness. There was the Bristol uh, Labour. They're choosing their candidate. All the Bristol Labour Party people. Boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> There's sort of marvellous Marvin Reese. Um, he's going to sort the buses out, thank God. If he gets in, don't know whether he will get in though. Nah, well the thing is that they all them Gorms got together, like, and yeah. um, they had a little, they had to do a bit like prime minister's questions or something. They had the candidates. Oh, it was down was it South Mead or? Yeah, yeah, and they got together and they said what you know what their views were. Nah. And it's just it from reading through it, it sounded a bit like one of them's gone. You know, oh yeah, no, I I think uh, I should, you know, we should sort out the transport. Yeah. And the rest of them are gone. Well, yeah, no, I, I know, I yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then another one's gone like, uh, well, we need to get jobs into Bristol, and all the others are gone. Yeah, no, yeah, we need to get jobs, 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 It's a bit like it's it's one of those things that you're all in the same party, so you're yeah. you're towing the party line. I just think that it's of the workers. Well, they're not even like that. If they were like that, an old lefty like me would love it, but like they're not. You know, like they're all about we should give the city opportunity and and empty empty slogans, empty words. You know, like. And uh, we're just meant to forget that they've just come out of power and they were in for 12 years and they were a fucking disaster. So, it's like, sort of, we meant to just like. ignore that, are we? Yeah. What, you you lot bollocks. essentially stitched us up a treat, like, oh, and yeah. did it under the guise of a of we're the working class party. Yeah. Which people I know, we're intelligent people, would still see the Labour Party as a party of the working class. Well, there's still people in it that, that are like that, but they're not, they're the not re- in the leadership no, the anymore. The reason no. behind it is because the Tories are so overtly... They are what they are. They're open about it. We're here for business and rich people, yeah. right, essentially. And we'll help, we'll help people out further down and we'll say things to them because we need more product being made. You know, it's not because we, we are, we think you're, you're cool. You're right? great. Whereas... The Labour Party will groom the working class and 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 make these statements like, but actually, when they're in a position of power, yeah, it's all a load of bollocks. And I wish they'd just come out and say, actually, no, we're we are just the same as the others. Yeah, the people high up in our parties went to Oxford and Cambridge. You know, don't don't lie to us, Labour. We we know what you are. Yeah. It's all the same, like that George Ferguson. He could be Labour, he could be Liberal, it's all the same, you know. Do you hear his latest thing about, like, oh, the biggest problem with Bristol is, is that the, the fucking Temple Meads roundabout needs tarting up. I'll tell you why we're fucking tarting up. We'll put a fucking hangman's noose and <laughs> swing you from it. <laughs> it's just, oh, God. It's, Ferguson is just such a waste of space. I, I, he gives me the creeps now, officially, you know. Officially. Like, yeah, it's official. He gives me the heebie-jeebies, you know. He's just such Merch a... Merch Venture. We talked about it last time. Yeah. Then, you know, like... It's just, you know... Why can't we... Why can't we have good people doing good things in this city? Why do we have to have all these losers come out of the woodwork, like, mm. you know... Who've got nothing to do with us, like... It's like... It's kind of like we should actually split the city. We should have Stokescroft, Southville, St. Werberg's... And they should all be independent states away from us, Bristol. Yeah. And all you people who like that sort of side of it, you go there and you make statements on those parts of Bristol. Right, yeah. Don't make statements on Bristol and include us in it because we don't want you. We were listening to that. The... <laughs> oh, you were there. You were there. You were there. I'm a bit of a localist. like A bit. And... A, bit a, a lot. You know, like... I think that is, um, yeah, I, I do take your point. I mean, I'm an outsider to the city, so like, sort of, I don't feel it as 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 hard as you kind of thing. But, but they, when they talk about, they sort of say, "Oh, Bristol's got this artistic image," and Bristol's what was it? We listened to that Bristol Pound thing, wasn't it? It's like, <laughs> "Oh, Bristol's got an edgy sort of thing," and it's like, "Well, no, Pensford hasn't." You know, like it's sort of what what are you on about? What you know, part of the edgy thing of Bristol are you talking about? Are you talking about it being? 
the drugs capital of Europe because of the amount of crack and heroin that comes into the city. Yeah, is yeah. that the edgy thing that you like about Bristol? Because yeah. I fucking don't like. Exactly. You know? Yeah, Fuck yeah, off. yeah. Sorry for swearing, listeners. I know I do it rarely, but these people grind my gears. <laughs> they deserve a big fat fuck off. Right.